I'm back. I don't know what's going to happen. This is not good. It keeps it keeps shutting itself off. It keeps uh, uh, um, Mom, you need to uh, I'm back. You need to refresh. You need to if you if you get a black screen and whatever, I'm back here but black screen, Janie. They need to refresh. I'm back broadcasting and I'm back recording, but uh, it keeps freezing up. Now this is about the third or fourth time it's done this. Now, you know, we're not going to do this all day. Uh, darn it, I'm all ready to go here. Okay, let's get going while we can, I guess. Uh, am I back now and you can see me and all that good stuff? Hi, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Hi, glad you're here. We got a real small crowd today, but there's some coming in. I'm going to get going while we can. I apologize. I don't. I think it certainly do think it's you, Stream. Um, so this is a greeting card that I made. This is a card that I made with some watercolor background that I did on watercolor paper, and that's what we're going to do some today. And we're going to make some cards. I made this card, and I was telling before we were so rudely interrupted that I mounted these on black uh, fun foam, and. Uh, uh, Hi, Ashley. Scrap. How are you? Uh, Miss Pris, hello. Ashley Scraps. Is that your new name, Ashley? Buttons and Bows, Ashley. I left you, if it is Ashley from Buttons and Bows, I left you a message on the telephone the other day and you never called me back. Uh, Mermaid, hello. Amanda, Jenny. Okay. Anyway, I made this card. It's just a square card. It's a, a five uh, inch square. And it's from a paper stack that I just bought. It's a Halloween paper stack. I made these uh, watercolor backgrounds. And that's what we're going to do a couple of them. And then we're going to make some cards. This is just watercolor paper. Uh, not expensive. It's watercolor six by eight pad. It's 140 pound paper. I think I got it at Michael's. I got some really, really. Uh, this is a background that I made that we're going to make a greeting card out of. This is a background that I made with watercolor and splashes and whatever. This one I made as well. Uh, this I made with watercolor. And then they have this at Scrap It Ever Do. Uh, this molding cream gold molding cream I love it I have had it a while and hadn't used it so I just took a palette knife and rubbed it on there and what I also did if you can see it I dried it with a heat gun and while I was drying it I let it get real real hot and it started bubbling and that gives it a really really neat texture now behind this is all all watercolor this is watercolored background as well, and it's an orange and a yellow. And then I took a palette knife and I just spread it out, uh, the, the gold on this uh, as well. Okay, we're getting a little glitch here. So we're going to make greeting cards out of these. This is the watercolor palette I have that I've been using. It's cheap. Believe me, it's cheap. And this is one I got that's cheap as well, but it's... Uh, Kind of iridescent, uh, pearlized, uh, and I used it some, but I don't know, it didn't show up a lot. I used sprays, I used Lindy Stamp Gang, I used Prima sprays on all this. I just whatever. Um, I really, I really like the watercolor look, and I sprayed it with water. I splattered it. I splattered it with ink. I splattered it with. Uh, uh, Primus Color Bloom. I used uh, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. Just kind of everything I had. I just kind of kept going. Hi, Miss Linda. Uh, the molding paste, I really like. I have it in silver and the gold. Got it from Scrap and Dab Do. Like it. It's really thick. Well, it's it's a molding paste, like so. Fun to use. I also did used it on a a template, but I didn't like it. I got a couple show and tells. We'll just play till we quit because 
that's just kind of I've got to do. So I'm going to put these back. Uh, they're finished. Here's, I say, the watercolor pad. Now, I used, on this one, I used the Distress Inks, and I just put it on my my mat and uh, watered it down and sprinkled it. Now, what I like about this, the Distressed Inks, is when you splatter it with water and dry it, it leaves these little marks. I love it. Some of this with the watercolor paints, when you splatter, it didn't really do it like that. So I don't know. I love this card. As I say, it was just a new pad of paper that I got. Um, I don't even know where I got it, quite frankly. Halloween's coming. And if we you lose me again, next week we are going to do another page. We're going to do a fall page, autumn, whatever you call it in your area, page in our uh, manual. So I'm going to set these aside. Uh, i got a show and tell. <laughs> I've been playing. And Ashley, if it is you, Ashley, I called you. Um, I made my first Minori. I have been obsessed with watching all this on YouTube about the Minoris. And I checked them all out. And they're very expensive, as everybody knows. And all. I'm not a journaler. I, I'm really not. Now. I'm someone that needs, I keep all my calendar on my computer, but I keep a hard copy calendar. I need to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing, where I'm doing, and I need to know what time it is. I can't leave the house to run to the market without my watch. Um, hi, Cindy Lou. Hi, honey. Glad you're here. So, I made one. I watched all of Ashley's uh, YouTubes and um, uh, streams and what, and I did try to call her. I had a couple questions, but I figured it out. But she didn't call me back. Maybe she didn't get my message. I don't know. Anyway, here is my menorah. And I made it with the flex paper. Or whatever this is. Oh, wait a minute. It goes this way. Um, there it is. I mean, that's all there is to it. Now, I have four books in here. These are the Moleskine books. I have three of them, and then I have one of uh, Piccadilly. And I do have some things in that and some notes uh, that I've made up. But, but I got four books in it. This is the, uh, uh, and, and I, this is funny. I didn't have any elastic. And this elastic is a bunch that I had that I've had for years. It's kind of that you wrap around boxes, corner with the bow tied for gifts and whatever. So I just untied it and I just used it as my deal. I just run my books through it and it, it's the same thing. Uh, but it's gold and it looks pretty with this paper, I think. So, uh, hi, Micah. Or Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Uh, we're doing a little show and tell here. Uh, yeah, Gwen, wahoo, looks fabulous. Thank you. I can't call you, Ashley, and left you a message. Didn't you get it? Hi, Bunny. Yeah, you stream is not being very nice, girl, so if you lose me, I'll be back. It's gone out about three times already. So anyway, there is my Medora. Uh, I did buy a black piece of leather. I'm going to try to make a leather one. I don't know that I'll ever use it. But there it is. Now, I've been busy. I've been, I really have been busy, but I've been busy with my work. Oh, i got to put this up. Now, I also have been watching. I need to get alive. I really do. Because I haven't, hi Vicki. I haven't been um, doing much crafting. I made uh, a junk journal. There again, I've been watching Ashley. Ashley, keep up the good work, honey. I've been watching you. I made my first junk journal. I tea dyed. No, I didn't tea dye. I coffee dyed all the paper. And this is this is a uh, file folder. And it's this color. I ordered these. Uh, it's a file folder. Now, I stood up there and I dyed all this paper, 28-pound paper. Laid towels out on my table and dried it all. Now, some of it wasn't as dark as I liked. In fact, I, I dyed it and I laid them out to dry. I didn't do it. I didn't bake them in the oven. Then when I started putting together, they weren't really dark enough. And I saved 
I saved my coffee. Here's my coffee in a spray. I also added a little walnut stain to it, but not very much because I can't even see the walnut. But this is coffee. And I sprayed that, that coffee on the pages and dried them with a heat tool and they were darker. So here, and I hand sewed all of it with the daisy something stitch. Lazy daisy stitch or something. I, I hand sewed it all. And it has five signatures. Uh, this is a free download from the internet. I forget where it is. This is a, a, a chipboard piece from scrap a dab -a -Doo. I forget which one that is as well. So I glued that on and down here I just did hope and I, I did all the edges and I roughed up the edges. Now as I say, this is a file folder. I folded it, I cut it down. I cut the tab off and I made myself a tab with my uh, envelope maker. So let's go in now. It's a pretty blank. Um, is Ashley leaving? Bye, honey. Where's she going? Oh, I'm still oh, good. All right, honey. Okay, so we open it up, and uh, here's the inside. I just ran. I tried to sew a button on. Didn't work. I, I was going to wrap it with a ribbon and and sew a button on, and it didn't work. So it left a mess here. So I just put some washi tape there. This is the first. Now there's a lot of blank pages because it's to journal in or do whatever. Uh, these stickers all came from Graphic 45s. Uh, this says unique and and uh oh, unique and uh, uh, vintage a butterfly. Now I this is one I sprayed with the coffee spray and dried it and let it run. This has just got a little thing running across the bottom that come off of that sticker page. And then I have a stamp that is a splatter stamp. I didn't splatter this. I stamped it with a stamp. This I, I stamped with a, a line stamp. It's got create uh, number 45. And then I went around all these stickers. And these all came from Graphic 45. Uh, all these stickers I went around with a black pen and kind of enhanced them. A lot, lot of blank pages. I, this is vellum. Uh, this has got a, a sticker on it as well and it says vintage and it's that's I forget where that's from. It's vellum. Uh, this I stamped another uh, line area with a telephone and one of the, the pretty gals. This is an old book page out of um, a French book I bought at uh, an old bookstore, and it's French text because I didn't want I didn't want to put anything in there you could read. No, uh, uh, laugh out loud. No, actually, like I was trying my best to get rid of you. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we wasn't. I met wife. I honey. Uh, I know it's not a good start. I'll be back. I shall return. But anyway, that's a page out of a book. And here's another blank page. I'm just flipping through. Another little piece of vellum. Uh, this is another line thing. Now, I on the back of this page, I tried to do something and I screwed it up. And what happened, of course, it bled through. It's all right, but it bled through. I tried to use a stencil and do something. Uh, so I covered it up with this paper and then I put a little sticker thing or, you know whatever uh this i resprayed with the coffee stain uh this i like the dark and it didn't go as dark and it might it might have had i baked it and i know ashley dried hers outside i i didn't do that but anyway now this i did i did this with a pen and and whatever and i put this is my first junk journal laugh out loud maybe my last it was a fun to make however was a lot of work Signed Gwen. It is a lot of work. Die. I mean, Ashley. My God, you you must have spent hours and hours and days and days. Uh, hi, Vicky. Yeah, I froze honey three times. It's a nightmare. Uh, Jan is smoky because she has been. I know she has, but she's back. Uh, anyway, here's a page. Now this is a just a coin envelope that I made. I cut the end off of it. Made a little pocket. And then this opens up, and there's a pocket as well. I just put a little sticker on there and a ribbon through it. 
and I just did some stamping, but you can journal over this. This is another little tag from Graphic 45, and mostly blank pages because that's it's the journal. Uh, this I just crinkled up and stained and glued one of those. Um, uh, oh, here's a sticker down here. Glued one of those uh, French book pages on here. The, the, I made these little this leaf. Well, I stamped it and colored it. This was a, a little uh, chipboard flower that that come out of uh, Graphic 45, and I stuck that on there. I made this. This is a, a one of those flowers, and I hot glued it to a to a paper clip, and then I put a little thing on the back of it just to cover up the hot glue and then I just stuck it in here on this little extra page and then uh, this is vellum this is vellum as well Uh, so these are stickers, and here's a little bird I found that I'd already cut out. Fussy cut out, on, and I just drew around it. These are just extra. This is vellum. I I use the whole eight by half, eight and a half by eleven sheet of vellum. These are now. This is a pocket. I made this pocket, and this is a graphic forty five tag, and I stamped on the back for journaling, and then I had sprayed it and sprinkled it and whatever. I think I did that in class one day. And then I made these little tags, and they're at they're, the, the, these tags and this pocket is made out of what's left of the uh, uh, file folder. These are this is the color of the file folders. I ordered them. We did something on another. I used to go to another uh, place, and uh, we made something with these file folders. A whole box of them, but I like them. They're real smooth. They're different than the Manilas. But they're real strong. And then here's another little extra piece, and I put a little uh, thing on there. Here's what's left of the other side. Here's a piece of vellum. I don't know if I'll use it. I don't know that I won't. I want to keep it. I like it. I think it's neat. It was fun. It was really, there's the other piece of that. It was really, really fun to do, but oh my. This is a stamp that I have kind of a muddy like stamp that I have um, and as I say I, I I soaked all these in my cake pans and I dried them but then when I put them in the book see I resprayed that with that bottle of coffee spray that I kept and like this and it made them this is what I really like it made them darker this was just a stamp that I had this is some washi tape that I ran across the side uh, Restamped it, and that's about it. And then on the back, here's another one that I sprayed. And then on the back, I put this. Love is a four-letter word. I love my puppy. So that is my first and maybe my last junk journal. What? Oh my gosh, the little who? The little something shop downstairs is selling large paper clips with a crocheted flower and a button. You have to three dollars. Oh yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah, I, oh the uh, no place. I didn't hang up. I put, I've got a great big round table in my dining area. Now I got a dining room with a big dining room table but I've got a big dining table off my kitchen it's round I put bath towels on it and I I don't know how many pages I did 10 or 12 pages is all I maybe I didn't let them sit long enough and I've watched and I've watched all of Ashley's uh, things uh, and and they dried and they were stained, but they weren't as dark. Now after I kept my I kept my coffee. Is that hysterical? I wonder if it'll mold. Um, I kept my coffee, so when I started working on it, I sprayed it, and I dried it with my hoot hoot tool, my heat tool, uh, like here. I I sprayed that and dried it with my heat tool, and I really like it better. But and it did stain, but it didn't. See, like this. Now, I don't want them too dark. And I, I've watched more 
and a lot of people bake them in the oven. That can be dangerous, but it makes them crunchier and sets them up. So I don't know. I got five signatures, and there is basically four or five pages in a. I think there's five pages in a signature, but that doesn't count the vellum and the extra little pieces like this that I threw in and whatever. So that's it. It was fun. I love it. I do like it. I, I think it's cool. It's vintage. There's no question. I downloaded this, and I, I should tell you the site, but I can't remember. There's free downloads, and you can join for 30 days. Oh, I also sprayed it with uh, uh, Lindy Stamp Gang's gold uh, Blazing Sun. I, if you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not. I sprayed it with that all over, and you can see where it see where it, the gold is. Made it pretty. Put my tag on the back. So that's my show and tell. I have been a busy little crafter. It was fun. I don't know. Might make another. Might not. So let's get going on our water. We're going to water couple color a couple pieces. We may be done early today. I do have some things I need to do. If I don't do them, it's okay. I pre-cut some, uh, for the cards, I pre-cut some things out. We're going to do our watercolor. Now, I am going to use, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my watercolor palette here. There again, this is my watercolor palette, and it is absolutely cheap. I think I either, I don't know, I either got to do Hobby Lobby or, or Michael's. Uh, this is one that's uh, pearlized. And I did use some of it, and it's the beautiful colors, but I don't know that it showed up. Uh, and all I did, you know, I really like this one. You're probably the best. Uh, this one I did because we're kind of kind of Halloween it, or maybe just a black and white. And of course, this I used the uh, paste, and this I I did the watercolor in the back, and then I I put on the uh, molding cream, the gold molding cream, and then I heat it. I I I put the heating tool on it so long that it bubbled up and it makes a really neat texture this will make a, they all make pretty cards when you I don't think they're real pretty like this so when you cut them down and you put them with your car and make a card uh, they are now the way I did it I am not I'm going to use this smooth side I first of all I uh, I need a paper towel I used to try to paint with watercolors and I could never do it um, and I've watched a YouTube a lot of uh, YouTube's I'm gonna water down my paper real well with a brush Ashley I've watched all of your deals I'll tell you you okay now then you to choose your color, I'm going to do the blue and yellow. I love the blue and the yellow. We we'll take the the uh, brush and put in the paints like so, and get them real wet. And sometimes I I spray them, and then you just start putting it on, brushing it on just sporadically all over or or, or whatever, however you want to do it. Now if if you don't want mud and you don't want it mixing and changing the color then you need to dry it in between and that's what I did I dried it in between and you can make it run you can hold it up with the dryer and it will kind of run down now it will roll um, it, you know it will absolutely roll But I dry it in between to keep the colors from the... Now, it, when you re-wet it, it kind of reactivates a little bit. But, uh, and then if, to get it darker and more intense, you want to uh, dry it in between. Sorry for the noise. I'm going to do some more of the blue.
there's no rhyme or reason and you can kind of dry brush it too across to give a little pattern per se and that leaves some brush strokes and then just dry it in between as you go along I pulled out a bunch of colored paper we're going to make reading cards to pick up one of the colors now I accidentally right next to my blue is a purple <laughs> I accidentally got a little but that's okay alright back in my use any questions duct tape can fix anything oh duct tape Be right back, once the tea, I got a rack, I was broken, da 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 Okay, now we have a dry, we're gonna do some more. I might do a little of that lavender. It's right next to it. You can spray your, uh, uh, you can spray your, uh, we'll kind of dry brush it a little bit. You can spray. I can't talk today. Oh, that looks pretty. See? That's the lime purple I put on top of it. Now we're going to start splattering it here in a little bit. When I did my oil paintings, I used to always splatter my oil paintings. Number one, I think it just gives it some magical interest. I I don't know. It, it just does something besides it also can hide a multitude of sins. Thank you, Jenny. Just take it for you. I can. Okay. Now, I'm going to start uh, I'm going to spray it with water and see if I can get that that I just used that new uh, spray bottle from Tim Holtz. I really like it. And if you just click it easy, it shoots out big globs of water, and that's what I wanted. Now, see, this is not like a... It's not... Well, it is a little, but not like the Distress paint. Okay. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to take lots of water. On this big brush. The bigger the brush, the bigger the... Uh, can you see? The bigger the brush, the bigger the splatter. Now, I used to always use a toothbrush, and they're real fine splatters. Uh, I'll show you here. Now, if you, if you dry these with the heat tool while they're real wet, then it will do that, uh, I don't know how, what to say. It gives that effect that they're, I don't know, what to, I'll show you here in a minute. It's something like, when you spray it with water on the uh, distress ink and then take it off, it leaves that shadowy look or it leaves a definite area around the splatter. I'll show you what I mean. I don't know what to call it. You could take a great big piece of, uh, ooh, that's hot. A great big piece of, uh, let me get this up, watercolor paper. And they come in big pieces and do the whole, okay, there. See, we did the splatters. What I mean is this little shadowing around. See how that goes around? So you, you don't blot it. You, uh, uh, You just sprinkle it on there, whatever, 
and I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to try. Are you going to get some on this toothbrush? Probably not. I guess I did. Oh, the purple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, that's pretty. I got some of my orange. Okay. Now that's the toothbrush, and I did it in the purple, and it's a finer. Uh, it's a finer spray. The smaller the brush, like a round brush or a painting brush, the smaller the splatters, the toothbrush is the finest. Okay, now, I think I'm going to let that alone. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Do you like it? Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. How are you? Thank you, Jenny. Hi, everybody. See how we... Oh. Can't find my... Okay. Uh, now, that one's finished. We'll make a card. So you can either use a purple... Uh, card base or the blue or white or whatever. So there's that one. We'll make another one here. What colors do you like? I'm running out of paper. I've got so many of these. Well, I got plenty, but uh, let's do. Let's do, what can we do? Let's do green. Now you can spray, oh, you can spray your, first of all, you need to spray your uh, cardstock and get it wet. And uh, if I don't get electrocuted here with my, uh, I've lost my napkin. Oh. Okay, we're going to do green. I love green. Do this chartreuse whatever green. You can spray your uh, you can spray your watercolors. See, I, I don't have a pattern. I don't have a Uh, you can spray your watercolors. Um, I'm going to dry it. And start layering it, per se, because it's really wet. And that's part of the deal, and I've read about this and watched it. How wet do you get your paper? I don't know. I've not had a definitive answer on how wet to get your paper. If you make a mistake, you really can go back and dab it off with a paper towel. Did she use watercolor paper? Yes. Ah, uh, no. Well, there's 100, 110 pound paper. I wouldn't, quite frankly. I have tried it. It pills. When you get, get it so wet, it pills. And it's just not as sturdy. And I don't think quite frankly, gives that nice of a look when it's finished. Now, see, this is just kind of one coat, and it's real light, so I'm going to keep adding to it. That's just water over there. Um, so I would suggest that you either use, if you do, use a real heavy, the 110-pound or whatever uh, paper, uh, I like this kind of dry brushing on it, see? Gives the it gives the uh, make your own design. There's no right or wrong. Now I'm going to add um, some yellow. I'm going to dry this real good. See I just kind of did some brush strokes. 
This is just for background. Now you could do uh, blue for the sky and green to make if you're going to make a little scene uh, type thing. I tried to use this over templates. Didn't work real well. You can slap and drag. Have you heard that term? Well, I found this artist and she is absolutely positively tremendous. And she does what she calls slap and drag. And we may do that here in a minute. Slap and drag is when we do like we do with the distress paints. And we, I'm going to try to do this with my hand. That splatters it. I don't know that it does any better than the other. But, uh, like we drag, you know, like we do when we do uh, the distress paints and put them on this. And, and put our tags in there and run them around. Like, but she didn't. She puts them on, slaps them on the, the wet paint or the wet ink, and then uh, see that doesn't do like that ever. I wish it did. I'm gonna do some yellow. Um, then she um, then drags it. She slaps it on there and then drags it. Oh, that yellow looks pretty. See, I'm just brushing across. I'm not doing anything. I'm kind of going up and down. I'm going to get a little wet. Okay. Now, I have some India ink in, in different colors, and I have it in yellow. And I'm going to splatter this with yellow and white. What's a it's acrylic artist ink? I do have India ink as well. You can use regular paper, but it will warp more than my. Okay, yeah, uh, I I there get and, and this is not expensive. You get it in the art. I got that, and I don't. Do we have this on Scrap and Avenue, Jenny? I don't know, and I apologize. Uh, is Carol here today? Are you here, Carol? Barry, are you here? I don't see him. Um, okay, I'm gonna. This does, and this is heavier. This is 140 pounds. I have a 110 pound uh, regular paper, but I wouldn't use it. Okay, now I have. This is acrylic ink, and I have it in. Where's the other one? Where's this? I tell you, I have things all over the place. I have it in yellow and I have it in and green. I'm gonna use, I have it yellow, white, green, black, blue. Shake it up real good. She has to talk love to the dog or take a, Oh yeah, uh, Margaret Ann, yeah. Now I'm going to do the white and I'm going to put it here on my little deal. And I'm going to get a paintbrush. I'm going to get this big round one and then like this and just rub it in there. And then I always go like. See these are really. Sorry. Basically the same. But see. How that splattered, that white, I love it. Now I'm going to dry that and then we're going to do it in the green, or the yellow. This is acrylic ink. Now this is a little thick. I didn't really, other than, <laughs> excuse me, the water I had in my uh, brush, and there was water in my brush, but, uh, this will bubble up as well because it's thicker. This is so much fun. These make the prettiest cards. Okay, now we're going to do the LO. When Walker was little, my grandson, who's six, who's started to kindergarten, he's too young, he's a baby. Uh, but when he was 
I don't know, three, four years old or whatever. He's always been interested in art and painting and whatever. So anyway, I said, what was your favorite color? And he said, hello, Granny. Hello, Granny. Not Granny. <laughs> Granny. Hello. Okay, here is Ello. Ooh, that's a bright yellow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, said the barn man. Oh, it's fine. You really, this is going to be hard to see probably on camera. I have spray all over my table. I put put around the edge as well because if you do a card you're going to cover some of that up now i the other day i was doing this and what i had left or whatever i had on my mat here i uh, sopped it up with a oh this is pretty this is really pretty i don't know if you can see the yellow really pops So make a pretty, pretty card. I, uh, the one I made, I don't want to cover too much of it up. <laughs> I cut out a bunch of uh, die cuts for cinnamon, like hello, and on and on. Uh, oh, this looks pretty. Okay. The, the ink is a little thicker. Okay, can you see? See that? See the white and the yellow and the brush marks? I really like that one, too. I love green. Hi, June. Hi, Barry. Hi, hey, hi, Barry. How much will they take? Oh, my, June. Did you? Oh. Oh. Yes, June. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, God love her. Uh, for newbies that's coming in, uh, and Barry, uh, speaking of yellow, I asked my four-year-old grandson what he wanted to be when he grew up and he said a taxi cab driver i said hmm why is that he said because yellow is my favorite color and taxi oh that's yeah walker's favorite color was yellow hello gammy i do i always like and it's my sister's favorite color my sister's favorite flower is yellow roses mine are red roses hers are yellow roses okay it's almost two o'clock so that's how I do it. Uh, I don't paint, you know. Uh, I I use this paper, and we're gonna make take these, and we're gonna make greeting cards. Barry just come in. Barry, I made a couple cards. We're gonna take our uh, watercolor backgrounds and cut them up. I pulled out uh, paper to correlate with them. This I use watercolor and then I use the uh, paste, the modeling cream from Scrappy Dabby Do. I love it. And I heated it to the point where it bubbled. This I'm going to do just a black and white. This is also watercolor. And then I, I took a, a craft knife and just scraped across this with that uh, modeling cream. I just used the. Uh, now, see, this is what I really like is that. See where that fades out, and then you've got that ring around. That's if you use uh, the distressed inks instead of paints, you get that look when you splatter it with water. Uh, the I don't know why I don't know, and, and, and the the ink I mean the paints are. Uh, I'm gonna put these up now. The paints are uh, 
water sol soluble, the same as the, uh, oh, I can't talk. The same, <laughs> the same as the distress, whatever. Okay, we are going to, is there any questions? Any questions, anybody? I know, uh, oh, was it, was it Carol had to take her mother to the doctor? Or was it, um, Margaret Ann? Or both? I don't know. Uh, Barry, we've been in and out. We've had, uh, we've had some problems with Ustream. Even get, me even getting started, I had some problems. So what we are going to do, we are going to make some greeting cards. Now, Barry, you were late uh, coming in, and I made a couple cards. Here's one. I showed this the other day. And this is with the watercolor background, like we just did. Now, this is just a greeting card that I made, and I took a die cut, the die cut square with the little perforated, and I cut this. This was in the corner of one piece of paper. I bought this paper stack, Halloween. It was in the corner of one piece of paper. And then I used some uh, glitter paper to frame it. And then this was in the same pack. Then I mounted it on black. Uh, I love Halloween. I mounted it on black uh, fun foam. So we're going to take our. Uh, I don't know which one I'm going to do first. Which one are we going to do first? I like these two. I'm going to do these two. I'm going to do this. This one. I really like this one. See the gold and the white? The hello is cute. The hello is... Oh, yeah. That's... I, I, I cut a bunch of those hellos out. So, we are going to use... I also need a... I'm going to put some flowers, of course, on here. I've, I've got everything out here. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, I've got all my uh, Prima sprays out. Uh, paints of all kinds. You can use any watercolor paint. Acrylic paints or whatever. Uh, to do this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, honey. Thank you, June. Um, I am going to, I think, I'm going to use a yellow background. And I'm going to make it a square card, which is 5 by 10. Uh-oh, that's not an inch, is it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Five by ten. Cut it five by ten and score it at five. I like square cards. Now you can mail them, but you have to hand um, I think you have to hand whatever. Now we're going to cut, uh, let me see, I want a green, where's my green? I'll be right back, i got to have green and I have to have it, I thought I'd pull it. Oh, I'm tangled, what tangled webs we weave, oh! We are going to use a green. This green. Perfect. <laughs> now, I'm going to cut this. Oh, dear. I just about dumped my water. Uh, let's see, five. I'm going to cut this at four and three quarters. I cut my card at five. I'm cut this at four and three quarters, and then I'm going to cut our. Well, first of all, I got to cut off some of these sides. 
Okay, now I'm going to cut this at four and a half or four and a quarter. I'm going to, I think, four. Now I'm going to cut it four and a half. So I need to cut, let's see, I need to cut off some of those white sides. Okay, now I want four and a half. Is that right? Is that four and a half square? It is. I'm going to cut it down another quarter of an inch. What do I make this? Four and a half. I'm going to make it four and a quarter. Okay, okay. Now see, save these because you can cut those down and just use them on one side and tag them and we might do that. Uh, okay. You have scraps with this square five if you use eight and a half by eleven paper, but uh, okay, now I am going to use some white ribbon. Oh, I really, I like it like that. Okay. White ribbon, wrap it in white ribbon. And I'm using wider ribbon. And I wanted that more in the center. Let me just wrap it. I'm going to do a fake bow. Or a fake something. <laughs> and I always tape the back down. Uh, even though I put tape on it. I don't want it coming loose. So I always just put some cellophane tape across it to block it down. And then that's going to go on like so. Now I am going to, I'm going to glue this down flat and then I'm going to prop it up on here because of that ribbon, I think. I'm also going to rip up these edges. See, this is how I do. I just do it as I go along. I'm going to take the whatever it's called this is the one I've had forever are we still looks like we're still I hope dear word uh, they'll virtually I'll have to go through and see what happened to all those but virtually will be one recording okay this is going to go on like so. That's a little crooked. That's not down as far as I want it to go down. And it's crooked. Come on. I'm getting. That's too high. Too high, too low. I have a hard time getting these straight. And we're going to glue it down. Oh, if it'll glue down. See, this paper is a little different. Uh, see it pulls it up because it's that that's not working. I'm going to use my score tape. It pulls it up because it's layered and it's 
it's uh, see it I just pulled that off I'm gonna use my score tape to put it down it pulls it up when you use a runner I don't know why I just love this watercolor look okay now we're going to put this down like so I'm looking at the design on it I, I really like it it's got some really pretty so I'm going to put it down there's a quarter of an inch or so all the way around like so now I'm going to put it I'm going to use um, white foam tape let's see just lay it on there and cut it out then you trim it you don't want to show see that's a little big so I'll just trim it down now I've been using glue to put this on I'm running out of all kinds of glue I need I need to get some oh oh yeah that's what it is. so you just put that on the back now this will slide um hi miss Linda hi honey how are you glad you're here fun foam is that what the kids call crafts yeah section yes fun foam cheap but I tell you it's a lot cheaper than tape to, if you want to build them up like I do uh, and then there again I use the black okay now we're gonna I'm gonna have to get some glue out here in a little bit I'm about out uh, Kind of rip this brown. Yeah, it's fun foam. It's in the uh, kids section. There was something else I bought the other day that was in the kids section. See these kids? Now, how did I decide? I wanted it like that, I think. And then you're going to put this on top, and that's going to build that up. Oh, I love these colors, these bright colors. But you could take a great big piece, the 140 pound, it's 140 pound uh, paper, uh, watercolor paper, and it comes in great big sheets, and do a whole sheet and just cut it up and have it on hand to make cards with. Would have never thought to use that. Interesting, yes. Not that cheap. Well, I don't know how much it costs. I, I'm, you know, I don't know, but I do. I got a, a great big sheet of it. I don't know what size this is, but it's a whole big sheet. Pretty big. It's twelve by. It says on here. Twelve by eighteen. Ninety-nine cents. Well, it lasts a long time, too. Okay. Now, we've we've done that. How did I do this? Oh. We've done that. I'm making this like I did the other one. And now I'm just going to uh, tie it. Why not? And then I'm going to cut that down just a wee bit more over here. 
I have ribbon scissors. I just, and these are getting, I just use these all the time for everything. Cut it at an angle. And then I burn, I take a cigarette lighter and burn uh, the edges. This is the polyester so it melts, keeps it from fraying. Just run it down the side. Okay, now we are going to take... Some flowers, of course. We've got to have some flowers. I mean, I don't do a whole big to do like I do on the other things, but I'm going to put one yellow rose in the middle. Or not in the middle, but like, well, it is kind of in the middle. I am going to take a glue dot and uh, secure that bow, that knot, whatever it is that okay and I'm gonna take this I want to put it there I really want it on top but that knot is really too big I don't want this one can't have them too big this is a little I'm going to take this kind of medium size and put it right down there at the bottom of the knot. Me too, Bear. You are all talking about a big sheet of fun foam. Want Gwen and her light? Oh, my lighter! Oh, no, it's all right. I just. I just go along the edge. Uh, I've done that forever. I'm careful, but you know, get my Timmy scissors out. I always do that to the edges so they won't. Well, now there's some you can't. If they're polyester, uh, you certainly can. Now I'm not putting leaves on here. I'm not putting. Uh, I'm just putting the the flowers and a couple of white ones on top. Oh, isn't that cute? And fluff your ribbon. Band it. And there it is. There's your card. Now, I'll put a white piece of paper in here to, to uh, do your, you know, whatever. I'm also going to put, now I put this stuff up here. I made a whole bunch. Wait just a minute. Oh, and they're so fragile. Uh, I'm going to put... I cut out these hellos, these little hellos, and I also, oh, I cut out a great big hug, a great big hug, it could go across, the, uh, that's too big for that one. I also cut them out, but I also cut them out in some of this gold paper. It's gold. Ooh, that's pretty on there, but I like the white. I like the gold, but I like the white. 
So we're going to put this hello. The only thing about these. You can take a toothpick and. Now this dries clear. I just, it's the only thing about these little things. I love them. I just, they're beautiful, but they're a nightmare. So I'm going to put this across the top. And it just says hello. I don't want to go. No. I'm sticking. Oh. It's sticking to me. I gotta wash my hands here in a minute or there. Hello? Isn't that cute? Do you don't like it? Hi, Char. Didn't see you either. Hi, honey. How are you? Thank you, Benny. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, everybody. I think it's really pretty. i got to get this glue off my hand. Okay, we're going to make some more. Now, where, where are, you there? I can't get that one off. I don't know what it is. I can't get it off. I can't get that off. It's glue. What it is. I got glue all over me. I got to get this off. I can't work. I don't know what this is on my finger. Good word. Not hot glue. I don't know. Okay. Now there's that one. <laughs> 